A 2020 report found BBC journalist Martin Bashir faked bank statements to help him get an interview with Princess Diana back in 1995. Newly released emails show Mr Bashir blamed racism and professional jealousy for the controversy surrounding the interview. These are the emails the BBC didn't want you to see. Exchanges about the infamous Diana interview. Once a global scoop, now a tarnished moment of television scandal. Secured with deception, cover-up and faked documents. The emails include comments from reporter Martin Bashir about allegations of forgery. Bashir says there was professional jealousy at the BBC and irritation that a second-generation immigrant of non-white working-class roots should have the temerity to enter a royal palace and conduct an interview. The journalist Andy Webb forced the BBC to disclose the emails, but they're riddled with redactions. It certainly tells us that the BBC was very, very keen that a lot of this information should not come to light. The question is, this vast number of redactions, are all of them entirely uh, honest and legitimate? He believes there are revealing details in emails we can read. It's from a lawyer at the BBC, and what she's saying is, we are not releasing all of the internal investigations documents at this present time. Now, that to me is, hmm, that's really interesting. This is all about the months leading up to the damning Dyson report, which strongly condemned the corporation. You might think there's nothing more to say about the Diana interview, but there remain unanswered questions. Why do senior managers here continue to withhold documents? Are they covering up the cover-up? The BBC says the redactions were necessary and insists allegations it acted in bad faith in 2020 are simply wrong. It was the single most astonishing interview, I think, of the century, actually. I think it's sad that um, we can't just have a totally open uh, discussion uh, with proper information about what went on. Legal actions underway to have the redactions removed. It could take months. For now, this scandal continues to cast a shadow over the corporation. Laura Bundock, Sky News.